Kate, William and Harry have been in the papers a lot, um, been in, on the airwaves a lot in the last few days, uh, talking about mental health. And this sort of ties into that, doesn't it? Yeah, so this is Kate Middleton coming out and it, um, sort of saying that when she was... When she was the first mother, she felt really lonely. Um, and uh, it was in response to a, an, an app that's been set up by two women to try and kind of like create bonds between women when they're maybe stuck at home with babies. Um, I, I think you only can applaud the royals for getting behind mental health. There's so much stigma still attached to it. But on the other hand, I think a lot of women are going to be quite sceptical that Kate, with as much privilege as she has, would have felt particularly isolated. It's exhausting that there's already this pushback against this. I'm not saying you're doing it, but a lot of people go, oh, the royals can afford to talk about this because they're wealthy. They have their own problems. The of course is, the they do. The fact is that what this, what this debate is doing is showing everybody that mental health is something that affects uh, yeah. know, something like one in two people over the course of their lives. And it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what you do, it can affect you at any time. No, of course, and I think fundamentally it's a brilliant idea, but I just think, Kate, if she kind of goes too far down the line of like how difficult it's been for her, people will just think, well, with the amount of privilege that you no, have... To be fair to her, talking about loneliness isn't necessarily saying she's had a difficult time, and I no, can imagine she's in stage. quite an isolated position I, as a new mum, because she can't uh, yes. just turn up to the local swings, can she? No, I, and I think that's... Security and all the rest I of it. I think her loneliness will be quite different to, to other loneliness. Women, absolutely, but, yeah. yeah. Um, right, let's take a look, Rupert, at this story in The Times. UK told to keep EU laws. Yes, the papers, uh, as we were.